Hello friends, welcome back to DevOps Scene. In this video, we are going to learn Linux file systems. So let's start. So the firstly, we are going to learn what is file system in Linux. So Linux file system is a generally built in layer of Linux operating system used to handle the data management of the storage. It helps to arrange the file on the disk storage and it manages the files names, file size, creation date and much more information about the file. And it does indexing of data as well as provides a way to store metadata about these files such as their permissions, names, creation and modification times and other attributes. Each operating system uses their own choice of a file systems based on their targeted audience or requirements such as a few are rich in security features, few does provides faster storage and few supports larger file size. So that's the file system in Linux. Then the types of Linux file system. So you can say there are five top types of Linux file system. So a standard Linux distribution provides the choice of partitioning disk with the file format listed below, each of which has special meaning associated with it. So let's check one by one. So the first is ext2, then ext3, then ext4, xfs, and lastly, btrfs. So let's understand one by one. So the first is what is ext2 and ext3. So the file system ext stands for extended file system. And it was primarily developed for Minix OX. The ext file system is an older version and is no longer used due to some limitations. Then ext2 is the first Linux file system that allows managing two terabytes of data and ext3 is developed through ext2. It is an upgraded version of ext2 and contains backward compatibility. And the major drawback of ext3 is that this does not support server because this file system does not support file recovery and disk snapshot. So that's the ext2 and ext3, then ext4. So what is ext4? So the fourth generation file system of ext, that means extended file system family, that is default file system in RHEL, Debian, Ubuntu, and so on. ext4 fs can read and write to ext2 or ext3 file system but the ext4 it is not compatible with ext2 and ext3 drivers then ext4 comes up with some new and improved features so the first is extend based metadata then delay allocation journal check swimming then large storage support and multi-block allocation. So that's the ext4 file system. Then the next is XFS file system. XFS is a robust and mature 64-bit journaling file system that supports very large files and file system on a single host. And it is the default file system in RHL 7. Journaling ensure file system integrity after system crashes by keeping a record of file operations that can be replayed when the system is restarted and the file system remounted. Then XFS supports the features including the following. Delay allocation, dynamically allocated in I notes B3 indexing for scalability of a free space management, online defragmentation, online file system growing, comprehensive diagnosis capabilities, scalable and fast repair utilities, optimized to support streaming video workloads, and lastly, supports a large number of parallel operations. So that's the XFS file system. And the last is BTRFS. So the BTRFS stands for the B3 file system. It is used for fault tolerate repair system, fun administration, extensive storage configuration, and more. 
and it is not a good suit for the production system and it provides a very advanced file system feature set to linux and might replace ext4 one day and through btrfs it currently consider experimental BTRFS can support up to 16 exabyte partition, that means 16 types of data of ext4 and a file of the same size as ext4. So that's the BTRFS. Then find out your file system. We can find out in three ways to our file system. You can see the command. There are many ways we can find out our file system details on our system. So you can see the command. So let's try. So here you can see. So here you can see I'm uh, connecting my uh, terminal, Ubuntu terminal. And now now I'm going to check my file system using this command. So let's run the command ls blk hyphen f. Ls blk hyphen f. So you can see my file system here ext4. Then let's run the second command df hyphen h capital T. Df hyphen h capital T. So you can see here my file system type ext4. Then the last is BLK ID. BLK ID. So here you can see the type of my system here. File system ext4. So that's the three way we can find out our file system. So here you can see here I'm using this Ubuntu. So that's where my file system is ext4. So we can find out our file system using this three commands. So in this video, we have learned Linux file system. So thank you for watching our video. I hope you like the video, video and it's helpful to you. So please like, share and subscribe our DevOps in channel.